Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, I hope you are well. So today I have a little bit of a different video for you because you may or may not notice, some of you have because some of you mentioned it in the comments section down below in my previous videos, but I hit a thousand subscribers and that's amazing and incredible so thank you to every single one of you who's been with me from the beginning or subscribed to me yesterday, it's incredible and yay, so happy and I wanted to do a video to say thank you and I thought for that video, seeing as I'm asked so much to do a bookshelf tour but my bookshelves aren't really in a good enough order to do a bookshelf tour, I thought I'd do a shelf tour so I'm just showing you one shelf and the shelf that I'm going to show you is my Jane Austen shelf so if you're a big lover of Jane Austen, keep watching. What I will try and do for you guys is all the books and everything that I show you on this shelf I will try and leave links for them down in the description box below so if there's anything that you think oh I kind of want to get my hands on that or I'm in really interested in reading about that further there will be links down there for you so you can go and get your hands on them if you want to so thank you again for the thousand subscribers let's get straight into it here is the video so this is the overview of the shelf as you can see, I've tried to make it look as pretty as possible. I apologise for the shakiness of the camera, I don't have a tripod so I'm just kind of holding it on my hands. But here you can see the overview, so what I'll do is I'll take off the front layer so you can see the books behind. So this is what it looks like without all those little trinkets and books and things at the front. So what I'll do is one by one I'll take things off the shelf and show you guys. So the first book is this Pride and Pre Prejudice paper dolls. and if I open it up you can see that what we have inside is these kind of cut out um, characters of like Elizabeth Bennet and Jane and things like that and you just cut them out and then you attach them to, to the cardboard dolls that are at the front. We've also got Darcy and Bingley and it's just it's fantastic. I haven't cut it up yet as you can see. Um, but I think I probably will really soon because I do really like that and I do kind of want to get stuck in with it. I next have uh, this beautiful edition of Pride and Prejudice. Uh, this is in Barnes & Noble leather bound edition and I think it's beautiful. Um, this is a spine, it's so pretty. And then if I show you the back, it has a quote on it. And this one is, it's a truth universally in knowledge that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a wife. And it's beautiful hardback. Look at these green and the end papers. It's lovely. So I have that one in that edition. And then in the same edition, I also own Persuasion, which I think is probably the most beautiful one. Um, they also have Sense and Sensibility in this collection too, but I just don't pick it up. It's a shame they don't do them all um, because these are pretty. But this quote is, one man's ways may be as good as another's, but we all like our own best. And I haven't actually read Persuasion yet, um, but it's beautiful. So stunning, absolutely stunning, and I love having these in my collection. Next is another copy of Persuasion, it's in this beautiful uh, little copy here. I don't know what these are called, but I own three of these. And these ones actually have illustrations in the front of these and throughout the book as well so they're lovely I also own in that edition Sense and Sensibility and that's a beautiful picture inside and Emma T and that's the lovely picture from Emma Moving on now I have Love and Friendship and Other Useful Writings this is the only cloth bound edition that I have um, from the Penguin Clothbound series. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I just hate this bit where you take the sticker off and all peels away with it. Um, other than that, I think it's absolutely beautiful and I'm really glad to have it in my collection. I've read little bits from this and it's fantastic. It's a great one to kind of read bits and bobs of. Moving on, I have this beautiful edition of Emma. This is a, uh, an Alma Evergreen I think and they are slowly producing all of them so that's really nice to see all of them but it is so stunning and this cost me five pounds. It's ridiculous. Look how beautiful it is. So stunning. I think it's absolutely 
gorgeous and for five pound that's ridiculous and then finally i have these three um these are the very old editions of the oxford world classics and these are the actual editions that i actually read these are kind of for show um and i do dip i do read that one and i do kind of read in and out of these and the editions that i don't have of those i do read of kind of these books um but these this is my kind of medium of choice really so first I have Pride and Prejudice, and yes, it is a little bit battered, but <laughs> it doesn't matter, I think it's gorgeous. Then I have Mansell Park. I've done a review of this already on my channel. I'll leave it um, down in the description box below if you want to go and check it out. This is a very battered copy, as you can see. And the last copy I have of this edition is Jane Austen's Northanger Abbey, um, and other writings as well. And um, this is lovely. And I do want to collect more of these. Um, Probably in the new editions now though because it's been a while. <laughs> so moving on to things I have at the front of the shelf. Um, I first will have this Pride and Prejudice. This is part of the Classics Unfolded. I actually showed it in my London birthday book haul. Um, and they do other editions of these. They do Alice in Wonderland, Romeo and Juliet and The Secret Garden. I don't know if they're going to bring out any more but they're absolutely beautiful. So this is what they look like. They have watercolour images and then they have... Um, a quote from the book and a little explanation of what's going on and there are just um, lots of pictures of these and they do concertina out and they're absolutely beautiful and stunning and I think it was about seven pounds so you know an absolute bargain and it's beautiful and that sits there in the corner and then moving on in this little corner here I have Jane Austen's Her Complete Novels in One Sitting which is a pretty little book and it's only about three or four pounds it has a lovely kind of Georgian image inside and then of course it has the novels um, with some pictures in two. Um, obviously in a condensed version but I thought that was a, a sweet little addition. I also have this, this is um, one of the flip back books. Um, this is Jane Austen's Emma. Um, I haven't actually read Emma. But the reason why I bought it was because I saw it and I never see them around so if I see it I do tend to buy it and they are brilliant it's the whole book in a flip back edition and it's fantastic and I like to put it in my bag and I have now read bits and bobs of Emma but I don't have a bookmark in that so I'm not quite sure where I am so I'll probably start from the beginning but I think it's absolutely beautiful and gorgeous and if I see any more I'm definitely going to get my hands on them and finally, to kind of finish off, I have, of course, my Penguin Books mug in the Pride and Prejudice because I love Pride and Prejudice. And there we go. That is the shelf. So I hope you enjoyed that. As I said at the start of the video, I will leave links to everything that I've shown or try to down in the description box below if you want to check it out further or get your hands on it. If you're new, please hit the subscribe button for more videos on history, vintage or book related topics. And down in the description box below, I will also leave for you my link to my Twitter and my Goodreads too. So take care and I shall see you soon for the next video. Bye for now.